Hello, in this video I'll show you some more capabilities of Analyze View. First, we have uh, free runs loaded. Uh, we will hide one of them to have more clear view. Let's find this one. Mm. Okay. We hide it with double click here. We have two runs uh, visible left. Okay. In this one, we have information on the left that uh, we don't want to show. We can select the display range. Here we have the engine speed uh, as a function of runtime. We will limit the selection somewhere around here and it is cut. We'll do the same thing for this one. Okay, in the analyze view we can edit comments. and edit favorite plug. Okay, now we have wheel power and engine torque visible. Let's say we want to see something else. Power on the engine and loss power. Of course, we can hide one by one any curve that we don't want to see. Or we can hide it globally in options. On the axis we have some configuration uh, options. We can set uh, tick count. This way we can get more labels. Uh, depending on where we click, we will see options for uh, the axis that is nearest to our click. Engine torque, engine speed, engine power. We can change units. Number of decimal places. And the color. We can uh, have the outer range setting, outer range with uh, minimal span, or fixed range. Let's leave outer range for now. Of course, uh, we can uh, manipulate. Uh, the ranges, but these settings uh, define what happens when we use the rescale function and what shows at the beginning of our work. Okay, let's now uh, focus on the additional data, which is here below. On the x-axis we have selected time so it's uh, time normalized to our uh, selection from display range. We can also have here um, 
the absolute time but uh, when we start measurement in this run earlier and in this run uh, later it's uh, not nice uh, to see it like that and that's why we prefer uh, selected time now we see the difference mm. okay we see her the load cell value during the test We can uh, uh, set up this variable and uh, change the filtering on this channel. Uh, zero is non-filtered. Non and if we increase this value, we get more smoothed curves. Okay, this is nice. Mm, let's set another channel on the right. And uh, we can uh, filter channels with uh, text. We will select the torque, torque that is a result of uh, inertia and roller acceleration. Mm, as you can see during this test, uh, the roller inertial torque is uh, constant because it's a uh, constant uh, acceleration uh, test. Of course, we can uh, move it like uh, on the chart above. Zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and rescale if we want. Uh, if you want to uh, print the results. The option is uh, available in the context menu. Okay. 